In life, you don't know what you've lost till it's gone. Well, sometimes you didn't really need what you had as much as you thought you did. Here are the top clubs who sold their best players and yet improved as a result. Let's go. Number one, Liverpool and Philippe Coutinho. To this day, Liverpool fans remain divided over whether the club should have sold Philippe Coutinho to Barcelona or not. The hole he left behind has never truly been filled by any other signing. But what no one can argue about is that in his absence, they've become one of the best sides in Europe. Since he left, they've won the Champions League for the first time since 2005 and won the Premier League for the first time in 30 years. Much of the team he left behind have now earned legendary status at Merseyside and have become global superstars. Three of his former teammates have made it to the podium of the Ballon d'Or, with Van Dijk winning the UEFA Men's Player of the Year for 2019, and he thought that he was the best player among them, and that must keep him up at night. Number 2. Manchester United and Paul Pogba Manchester United didn't exactly sell Paul Pogba, but boy, you can imagine how relieved they must be to see the back of him. After letting him go on a free the first time around, then buying him back for a world record price, Pogba didn't exactly have the impact they thought he might. Hot flashes of brilliance were often followed by long periods of indecisiveness and poor judgement. Still, he was a mainstay in the starting eleven when he was fit and the team's biggest player until Ronaldo arrived. Many expected the team to fall off a cliff when he announced his intentions to move elsewhere on a free at the end of last season, but the signing of Christian Eriksen has meant that this has not been the case. Bruno Fernandes has been unleashed this season, with the Dane providing the stability and balance to allow him to search forward. The jury is still out on how far Ten Hag can take this team, but it's safe to say that for now, no one is missing Pogba. Number 3. Inter Milan and Mauro Icardi It must be a headache when your best player is also the most ill-disciplined player in your squad. That was the case for many years at Inter Milan. Their captain and talisman, Mauro Icardi, who was Inter's leading scorer for four straight seasons, had become the most divisive player in the whole of Italy. When the acrimony between him and the club reached boiling point, PSG came calling and he and his agent wife happily obliged. Inter Milan were equally happy with his departure and set out to refocus on their title aspirations. The 50 million euros they got for him helped to offset what they paid for Romelu Lukaku and soon enough, the gap between them and Juventus was closed. The next season, they won the Scudetto and ran AC Milan down to the wire the following season. Number 4. Leicester City and Harry Maguire When Manchester United placed a bid of 87 million euros for Harry Maguire, Leicester didn't wait a second in accepting it. As it turns out, every player who has played at centre-back for the Foxes since then has played better than Harry has for United. Soyuncu, Johnny Evans and even Wesley Fofana. In the year he left, the team itself ended the season in 5th place, their best position since they were crowned champions in 2016. Number 5. Atletico Madrid and Antoine Griezmann For Atletico, this was a case of double gain at the expense of rivals Barcelona. With the Neymar-sized hole still gaping in Barcelona's setup, they looked to a rival team's player for a 120 million euro solution. That man was Antoine Griezmann. In 2019, the move became a reality, but it didn't yield the result that everybody expected. Inexplicably, his time at the new Camp was as frustrating for him as it was for the Blaugrana fans. To make matters even worse, Luis Suarez went the other way two years later for a measly 9 million euros and delivered the La Liga trophy for Atleti on his first go. Griezmann has since returned to the Wanda Metropolitano for a fee of 20 million. The bosses in Madrid must be laughing as we speak. Number 6. Bayern Munich and Robert Lewandowski Bayern Munich win the league every season, so it's no surprise to see them doing well after Lewandowski left. It's just the matter in which they've gone about winning games. The goals have been shared almost equally between all of their attacking players, and even the fullback seem to be getting in on that action. Oh, and when they met Levy's Barcelona in the group stage of the Champions League, they made sure to let him know that he had not been missed, home and away. Number 7. Sporting CP and Bruno Fernandes Bruno's departure from Lisbon had been coming for such a long time that the club had already begun planning for his departure even before Manchester United's bid. At Old Trafford, he became the quickest player to reach both 5 goals and 5 assists in Premier League history, completing that feat in just 9 games. He also became the first player to win 4 Premier League Player of the Month awards in a single calendar year. This had Manchester United patting themselves on the back for such a great piece of business, but make no mistake, his previous club were also having the time of their lives with him gone.
And it's not just because they got 63 million euros from the deal. They went 32 games unbeaten en route to winning their first league title since 2002 and the man they had bought to replace Bruno was right at the heart of it. Pedro Gonçalves. That season he notched 23 goals from the playmaker position and ensured that no one in Portugal was talking about Bruno's exploits in the Prem. Number 8. Eintracht Frankfurt and the sale of Rebic, Jovic and Haller. But for sheer popularity, Frankfurt should have been number 1 on this list. Losing the terrific trio of Rebic, Jovic and Haller in the summer of 2019 should have seen the club crumble down to the second half of the league table. But no, they have held their own quite well since then and in 2022 they became only the third club to win the UEFA Europa League without losing a single game from group stage to final. Number 9. Inter Milan and Zlatan How could you possibly convince Inter to let Zlatan leave after he just scored more than triple the goals of any of his teammates in 2008-09? Well, you could offer Samuel Eto'o to them as his replacement, and that's exactly what Barcelona did. To them, Eto'o was the lesser striker and on the decline, so when the possibility of getting Zlatan was there, they jumped at it. Only that Samuel Eto'o was not as finished as they thought. His arrival at San Siro would prove to be the last piece that Jose Mourinho needed to win the first and only treble for any Italian team. On the way to the Champions League final, they dumped out Barcelona, of course. I've even lost count of how many times Barcelona has been on the wrong side of these deals. Number 10. Atletico Madrid and Radamel Falcao How many times have this team sold their best striker only to spawn an even better one the next season? In the case of Falcao's departure, no one expected his deputy to be as good but my goodness me, Diego Costa took the league by storm. Finally out of Falcao's shadow, Costa didn't just take Atletico to a top 4 finish, he took them to the European Cup final and to the league title. From the likes of Fernando Torres, Diego Forlan, Sergio Aguero and even Alvaro Morata, no one knows who the next number 9 will be, but with Atletico, we know that he's coming. That's all we have for today guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Till we meet again, bye bye.